Hello everyone, welcome to my Cycle 7 project for CSC 842. So in my last two projects I made uh, some intelligence tools and if you read through my source code I used a lot of APIs for um, services out there on the internet. Um, one of the things I wanted to do was, well there's a few things I wanted to do. The first is I wanted to learn how to write my own API. Um, so that was my goal number one that you see on the screen here. and uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, I do a lot of submissions to a Cuckoo instance, which is a malware sandbox to get behavioral aspects of malware in order to classify it or you know even figure out if it is malware. So there is a uh, site here on GitHub um, that's basically an offshoot of the Cuckoo version 2.0 uh, called Cuckoo Modified. And in my opinion, I've run both of them, and this one tends to be uh, a lot better and a lot more complete with a lot more information. So I use this on a day-to-day -day basis. And one of the things I wanted to do was um, submit files remotely. And up until I made this tool, there wasn't a real easy way to submit something remotely unless you had Cuckoo installed locally, which doesn't really make sense if you're just on a Windows box or something like that and you want to submit to a Cuckoo uh, instance. If you've never seen it before, I'll just show you an example here. Here's a uh, Cuckoo Malware Sandbox. There's not a um, login or anything. Um, I think it assumes that you're running on a trusted network. There may be a login um, capability, but I, I usually don't turn it on because I have a, a malware network that's segregated off of uh, everything else. And you can see I don't have anything submitted here. Um, this is just a brand new installation, um, which I installed on Mac OS too. So, uh, if you have interest in that, let me know because I spent a lot of hours figuring out how to get it to work on Mac OS, but uh, it does work really well. So with my project, what I wanted to do was uh, be able to do things like uh, submit samples remotely, pull reports remotely, um, just basically for automation purposes uh, because a lot of times I'll have hundreds of samples and I've got to pre kind of pre-process them to get them in a, uh, a state that I can uh, start analyzing them in. So to do that, um, I used an API. There's, uh, there's a couple libraries out there, but they weren't completely what I wanted them to be, so I wrote my own. Uh, there's two ways you can submit, or actually you can interface with Cuckoo Modified. There's an API.py script, which uses um, a certain set of uh, functionality. So here's my project page. If you go down here uh, in the resources section, I have, here's all the commands that you can use through api.py. And then there's the Django web front end, which um, is probably considered newer. Um, it uses more API. So for instance, you can go here and you can see all the commands that you can run uh, remotely through that facility. And you can also go to API here, and it tells you all about the different commands you can run remotely, and it gives you examples and so forth. So what I did is I tried to implement all of these through the Django front end, and all of these if you run API.py, which is slightly different. Um, I find the uh, web front end actually gives you more functionality, but my library will support both. Uh, so it might not seem like I did a lot, but actually I had a lot of goals in this. One was I wanted to integrate CI testing. So you'll see at the top here, um, I actually have some test scripts. And you can see I with uh, Travis CI, it tells you if it's passing the build or not. And all that information is in my Travis um, YML file. Um, I created a test file to do this. And inside my test file, um, I had to figure out how to pretend I'm talking to an external service when I'm not really talking to an external service, which is the mock library, which is really interesting. And I have a link in my resources if you want to see it. It basically pretends that you're talking to an external service, which is pretty cool. Um, I already talked about this. I support both interfaces. I wanted to make my package uh, easy to install. So now you can just type pip install cuckoo modified API and I'll install it for you because I have it uploaded to PyPy python.org and it's an actual package. 
I also want to make awesome and easy to understand documentation, but I didn't want to spend a ton of time doing it. And I accomplished that using Sphinx. And you can see here, I put it on my uh, github.io. You can actually go in and click on the API package and it lists out every single function for you, what it returns, what it expects. Um, every single item in the API that I implemented is right in here for you for um, easy viewing. Uh, you can also use PyDoc if you want to view it that way. So let me show you how this looks. Um, what I did is I um, started up Python. I typed the wrong import first, so ignore that. Type import cuckoo API, and then basically you make an API object by creating uh, the cuckoo API, and then you point it at your web address where your um, sandbox is. And then you can just say dot submit file, and here's a local file. Hopefully this will work, it did. You can see it just submitted this file remotely and it gives you back information about the task. And if I go to my sandbox, you can see this malware.exe has been added. Uh, it's got the MD5 and so on, and it's actually, it's doing the analysis right now, so I don't have the results for you and I'll, I'll spoil it for you. This, it's not really malware, I just took a normal tool and called it malware.exe. But this will just go ahead and populate like a normal modified um, uh, submission if you were to submit it through the web interface. So there's a lot of stuff you can do. You can pull you know, the dropped files, the reports, the status of the sandbox. You can list the machines available. You can get the PCAP output. You can get process memory. You can get full memory. Um, absolutely everything that you can do through the API except for a couple esoteric things that um, I don't tend to use on a day-to-day -day basis I've implemented in here. I mean you can pull IOCs, reports, you can take screen, get the screenshots, um, you can search for hashes, you can basically do everything now straight through uh, Python. And it's, it's pretty simple how it works. You have your local machine here where you install uh, the Cuckoo API and then it connects to your Cuckoo modified sandbox either through the api.py or the Django interface, and that's just a switch um, with the uh, instantiation here. If you were to turn it on, it'll switch over to api.py. If not, it defaults to the web interface. Uh, and then it just communicates, and you get your data back. So uh, basically, um, what I did was make everything that you can do locally by going through the web browser. Oh, and it finished here. So everything that you can do through the web browser, you can now do through Python, which is something that was a little harder to do before. Uh, the libraries I did look at were only partial implementations. It didn't have everything. So now I have an API toolkit myself with, uh, you can install it with pip install and you got some nice documentation. Uh, hopefully it should be nice and official like all the other packages out there that we use for all the different other projects that we build in this class. Uh, just to show you here, if you haven't used the, mo the modified version, you can actually just flip through the tabs. It tells you a whole lot of information about behavioral, network, you know, drop files, all this stuff you can grab remotely in Python. It'll um, pull back the data into a um, dictionary for you. You can see here I didn't save it to a variable, but here's the information about the status. Um, you can download the reports. You can do that through Python. So there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. So any comments or questions? Um, definitely open to hearing and um, if you like contributing or um, have any issues or anything like that go ahead and go to my um, uh, where was it let's go to my issues and you can um, submit a bug that's about all I have uh, enjoy seeing the uh, topic thread after you see this video all right thank you